Hey guys, Dr. Blue here, back with an episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Last time, we were in the Battle for Haven, things went down. We met the Elder One, he threw us about, but we managed to escape, luckily. Um, but we've fallen into this ice cavern thing now, and we're going to try and get our way out. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're in this ice cavern, all alone. The Elder One's messed with our mark a little bit, which he referred to as the Anchor. So let's get a move on and try and get out of this place. I can only walk for some reason. Oh, there we go. Scanning around because there might be precious minerals under here or some shit like that. What's going on? Oh, my character looks weak. He's moving slowly because he's been hurt. Oh, there we go. That's okay. Mark of the Rift, a focus based ability. Mark of the Rift causes massive damage and can even kill some enemies instantly. Really? It's a resource that is gained each time someone in your party deals damage. Each party member has a focus person. All members gain focus. Oh, really? So if I use that, I don't know, here? Oh, that is cool! That makes Dr. OP now! The elder one looks like he did me a favour. I've got badass ability now. Looks like he did me a favour more than anything. Let's check around for resources. It's got to be something good. Oh wow. This looks like there's something that we could use here. Or not. Guess not. This all this snow came from the avalanche, in case you're wondering. The trees are getting shaken about over here. Going much slower. Gonna have to fight some wolves. So I can take them. I got the fucking mark of the rift now, man. I'm OP. It's gonna do massive damage to fade rifts. Just wandering through at the moment. Let's hope the other one doesn't find us again. All right. Let's carry on. Maybe someone else was here. I reckon I'm going to get attacked by these wolves at some point. If I don't get medical attention, my guy might die. Like when in, in the first, uh, first kind of area of this, my guy could potentially die and we went and uh, killed the pride demon. Stop saying, um, doc. We went and killed the pride demon and he fixed our mark and allowed us to live and we went and closed it all together and now it's coming to contact with the elder one it could possibly kill us again there, it's him. thank the maker I'm left we set up a camp now a snow camp oh it don't take you long does it well maybe it was hours later who knows Oh, those nostrils, though. Put you in charge. We need a never noticed. So we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say All right. good. Enough. <laughs> Get us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. They've been at it for hours. My coat is not fucking. My face is going through my coat. For fuck's sake. Not follow. And with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Where is Corypheus now? Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are. 
which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature. Only his effect on us. I should help. They're arguing about what we do next. I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially... What? No. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. Oh, it's all coming back now. I remember. We lost a lot of people last time. We lost Aiden. Damn. He was an asshole and shit, but... He was alright. I got him killed. Shit. And the more our trials seem ordained, that is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure, what we perhaps must come to believe. I didn't die and come back. I escaped the avalanche, barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course, and the dead cannot return from across the veil, but the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? Should we believe Corypheus? You saw Corypheus. What do you think of his claims of assaulting the heavens? Scripture says magisters, to winter servants of false old gods, entered the Fade to reach the Golden City, seat of the Maker. For their crime, they were cast out as darkspawn. Their hubis is why we suffer blight, and why the Maker turned from us. If such is the claim of this Corypheus, he is a monster beyond imagining. All mankind continues to suffer for that sin. If even a shred of it is true, all the more reason Andraste would choose someone to rise against him. He said the heavens are empty. Hmm. Corypheus said he found only corruption and emptiness. Nothing golden. If he entered that place, it has changed him without and within. The living are not meant to make that journey. Perhaps these are lies he must tell himself, rather than accept that he earned the scorn of the Maker. I know I could not bear such. I believe, but is that enough? Perhaps I was meant for this, but that didn't help at Haven. I want to believe Andraste is with me, but doubt is everywhere. Let's go argue. Alright, boys. I'm gonna go talk to people, yeah? Where's the rest of my followers? I didn't collect them all for nothing. Is that her? Oh shit. That song. It's the introduction song. The title screen. It's starting to feel like a cult. didn't give you goosebumps then you're lying they 
faith is made stronger by facing doubt. Untested, it is nothing. What do you think, Solus? A word. What do you think? Was it good? Do you think I should join in? Is that it? He walks a bit feminine. Oh. What's up, boys? A wise woman, worth heeding. Oh, I like how he doesn't make footprints, but I make fucking huge ones. Or fracture. Look at that! What the fuck? The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is out. Really? Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed. So it was him. It wasn't the Templars or the Mages. Not yet know how Corypheus survived. He's infused with red lyrium, that's how he survived. It's made him more than human. Or maybe less than. How do you know this? Alright. What is it and how do you know about it? They were foci, used to channel ancient magics. I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it of it. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not, he risks our alliance. I cannot allow it. Lost here or mana, you're right to be worried. This whole mess is confusing. I can see how elves might be an easy target. History would agree, but there are steps we can take to prevent such a distraction. What do you think? What happened? Oh, oh, we're moving. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Are the conversations going on in the background? Be their guide. <whistles> Dragon Age Inquisition really sets the theme and they really set the atmosphere in their cinematics. If only they could accomplish as much in the gameplay, this game would be amazing. This game is really good, but I think if they build this kind of atmosphere when they were doing gameplay, that would be incredible. They've already, they've already captured it in their cinematics, definitely. Is that the Templar Castle? I assume if you side with the mages, it's the mages' castle? It's a good thing we let them stand on their own, isn't it? Because they've got their force now. Oh wait, or is this a different fortress? I don't know. Is this yours, Solus? Is this where you live? <laughs> Impressive. I've been summoned. I'm away. What's up, boys? Oh, oh! Conversation stops. People disperse. They arrive disperse, daily even. from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. Hmm. Cool. So we're like a trading post. If word has reached these people. It will have reached yeah, well, you know what? He comes again. I've got the mark of the rift, so I kick his ass. Here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. My mark. What drew him to you? He wanted the anchor. He came for this, and now it's useless to him. So he wants me dead. That's it. The anchor has power. But it's not why you're still standing here. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. 
You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already... Oh, they're making me leader. That's so nice. Oh, That's so sweet. You. Me? But I'm not human. I don't think I heard you right. You want a Canari as your leader? We want to make official what is already the case. But our history... I am aware of how this looks. Yet you are not your people. You are an individual. Perhaps that is part of your... Nice gloves there. Without you, there is no Inquisition. We all must accept that. But how you lead us, that is entirely up to you. The power. <laughs> this is what Envy was talking about. Had he had this opportunity, there would have been a lot of mayhem. It's a cool sword. Is it two-handed? Canari will stand for us all. I kind of want that because he's got the new thingy. I will lead us yeah, people prove. And I will be an ambassador. I'm a Canari standing for Thetis. The Inquisition is for all. Wherever you lead us. Wherever that may be. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? Oh my god, more goosebumps. They really create the atmosphere. It's putting my hairs on edge. They're really good at this. Stop it, Bioware. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're giving me goosebumps. <laughs> oh, battle. Battle. Oh, no battle. Wait, battle? Can I have a battle? Oh. Oh, no battle. I thought they saw a battle. What about this other guy? Whatever his name was. The mage. Is he going to join us yet? Oh, we've got to repair this. Now we've got to repair this. So this is where it begins. Is that the Iron Throne, mate? <laughs> in the courtyard. This is where we turn that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. We'll study him. Uh, can... is he an archdemon? Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've got to go find our own dragon. There's no, there's no question about it. We've got to go get our own one. Perhaps it's not an arch demon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage. Then we're going to have to kill that dragon. Corypheus wants to restore to Vinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, but this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Need more information. Oh, pardon me. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he... Maybe the myths are true, though. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. When you were at Therenfall, you uncovered a plot to kill Empress Selene. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army... An army he's growing. The Envy Demon gloated about a massive force of demons. Oh, I'm not being hunted, but the Envy Demon is fucking dead. Little bitch. Or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help. Oh, hello, little Varric. Uh, 
everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. All oh, that cleavage there. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know Varric, more about put it away. Do it. <laughs> he can help. Introduce us. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Okay. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inqu Inquisitor. I like it. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going oh, to. Oh, controller. This is the Inquisition, a dusty old ruin filled with barrier soldiers. If you shut your mouth and open your eyes, you'd see that the Inquisition... You tell him, lady. Undercroft. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to go down there yet. I want to have a look around. Who's in here? Oh, this woman. I don't. I don't want to really speak to anyone and get any, any huge, massive conversations. So let's find the war room and find the blacksmith. Blacksmith. Now what did they make down here? What can I? Hmm. Customize sky hole. I can customize it. No. No. I can tint it. I can tint it. I can tint it. I, can I tint it? Can I tint it? Can I tint it? Can I tint it? Can I please tell me I can tint it? No. I don't want to tint her. I want to tint me. Leather tint. <gasps> no way! I kind of want blue, but that's going to clash with all the red. I want, I want blue, and I'll turn these other things blue. That looks cool. What's this? Can't really do anything with that. Who's this? This is where a smith okay. Oh, it's the guy from last time because I let him survive. Yay. Skyhold customization. Upgrade potions. Oh, these are in the same same place now. Oh, it's just Skyhold. Uh, banners. Oh, this is so cool. I didn't know you could do this. It's so cool. Uh, I don't really like that one. Uh, how about this? Uh, bed. Just, just, just one bed. Drapery, which is like curtains, one set of curtains. Heraldy, whatever. Andrasty Enchantry, thank you. Decor, no decor. Throne, Inquisition, Legacy Ferald, Ferelden, Legacy Kirkwall. What else? I want. I want the Kirkwall one. I want that one. Windows, Inquisition. Yeah, that's cool. It's got. It's even got some storage for me, which is fucking awesome. Fuck Haven, man. It's all about Skyhold. Please move it. Oh wait. Oh great. That's, that's so. Fucking. And what's my quests? That's not it. Journal. Oh god. Look how many I've got to do. Look at all this. What is all this? Fuck's sake, where did it all come from? Alright, let's look for Cole. Where'd you go, Cole? The Forgotten Boy. Look at this place. What's this? It's okay. Bloody palace it is. Cole? Oh, hey, Sarah. How you doing? Being a little goof? So, Inquisitor. It's Inquisitor. Yeah. Now, right? Remember Aren't you that cold? We talked about stopping. Full of little badges I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' arch demon, is it? Draste, what do I step in? I've apparently been through a lot. But yes, Corypheus was a surprise. No, a surprise would be. Oh, I stepped in. <laughs> no one says. Oh, Fuck's sake. Every time he speaks to this guy, she makes me laugh. Impossible things are Fuck's surprises. Sake. Calm down and explain. I can't help if you don't explain what's wrong exactly. It's got to be nonsense, doesn't it? What kind of screwed if it isn't? 
I mean, that Carithi thing. A magister, right? Story is, he cracked the Golden City. But that's a hazy dream. If not, Seat of the Maker, real thing. A seat needs a book, so the Maker, real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world, real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the Skyhole rubbish so I can go play. Um. Hmm. I need hope, not selfishness. Yeah, well, slightly dis. You know what? You know what? You need some fucking cold truth. Is what you needed, bitch. Lumpy wants to be a god, and you glow or something. I just want to fix things so I don't have to think about what's real or not. High enough, my lord. Hmm. That almost makes sense. You're starting to not sound completely crazy. <laughs> I know, scary, isn't it? So bring them on. But first, food. I'm starving. Alright, go get your food. Crazy woman. Uh -huh. All the followers are much closer, so we can talk to everyone. That's good. I like it. Maker, you're a uh, excuse me. Let me have a look at you. Are you alright, my dear? Were you hurt? You look dreadful. I've looked worse. <laughs> we should do something about this dirt. We don't need you frightening the faithful. Let's keep up appearances. You've handled this crisis competently, saving as many lives as you did. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you. Yeah, I know. Don't remind me. I lost people. You must Mind your own business. <laughs> I couldn't save them all. That's me. For every person I saved, two more were cut down. <laughs> I failed them. Yeah, she slightly deproves. Take pity on me. Pity me! <laughs> their lives for a great cause, and they fought to the end. The rest still fight, and you will fail them if you give up now. Okay. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not... Thanks, Viv. I needed that. Act first, and teach them to fear us. Oh, well, man. I think you know what needs to be done, my dear. Alright. Thanks for that. Blackwall, how you doing? So, this is... Impressive, no? I, th I think you'll like it. I think he likes it. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortification. Okay. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from Good. miles away. We're safe for now. Corypheus thinks we're beaten. By the time he finds us, we'll be leaving. Better be. I know soldiers. I know our soldiers. Corypheus made a hundred enemies when he kicked down our door. Let him come. I swear I'll take the twist of bastard. Oh, down. little black boy, so I devoted. To die to do it. I'm grateful for your support. It's my job, isn't it? Killing Darkspawn. Look, in spite of it all, there is hope. The people flock to your banner. They believe in you. Tell me honestly. Are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. Um. I don't know. There's so little I remember. What if they're right? Does it even matter? Don't you see what you are to them? Without you, they'd be consumed by despair. We all would. They need you to be Andraste's messenger. It gives them hope. The truth doesn't matter. Ah, uh, listen to me talk. Your time is valuable and I've wasted enough of it. Oh, don't be like that, Blackwall. I always like listening to you. Oh, bring me up here and fucking leave me. Fucking don't even return me to the ground. Thanks for that. Who's that? Who are you? Oh, it's Varric. He, thought he looked taller from over there. Oh, the loading screens are so real. Who is this? Inquisitor, meet Hawk. You look impressive. Of Kirkwall, though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. They fought together. Can you be a follower, please? This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. 
I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. I've seen the cost of losing. You heard about Haven? I have. That's why we're here now. And why I have battlements instead of balconies. May they serve you well. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. Killed? The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared... Well, we've got Blackwall. ...his control again. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. Blackwall should know something. We need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. Can we get another one? The last how many how many people can we get in this? About corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. What were you investigating? If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of... Varric knows all too much about red. that. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. We've encountered Red Lyrium. Corypheus was using it to corrupt the Templars and turn them into his slaves. Hopefully my friend in the Warden... Why don't we talk about us? We got one. We got one too. Snap! I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. Join us. Before. Join us. I'll make sure. Join the Inquisition. Inquisitor. Uh, I'll talk to him while he's here, because he might not be here for a while. You said you thought you killed Corypheus? The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. I just want to kind of talk to this guy and go through all the points in case I can get him to join me at some point. ...an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hope that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come up. What's that guy doing up there? As it turned out, I'm even to You're going somewhere. All the circles going somewhere, pal. <laughs> You, you, wait, you got somewhere to be? Very important, yeah? Where are you going? Where are you going? Tell me. Oh, I'm really, really interested. Oh, there we go. We, we sorted ourselves out. ...brutally suppressed the Circle. And in their desperation to survive, the mages of the Circle turned to blood magic. Or became abominations. Finally, a rebel mage named Anders destroyed Kirkwall's Chantry. He's going to do it again. He's gonna do it again. What was he like? Is he? Where are you? <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? By the end, there was. He's done it again. What are you doing? I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. You can't go anywhere. So what are you doing? Strangely, I have my friend Aveline and my brother. Alright, we did it again. Fuck. <laughs> They've pretty much scattered to the winds. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition? What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're we gonna do it again? <laughs> no, he's, he's not doing it now. <laughs> okay, let's go around. Had to be demons getting into your head, messing around. I'll protect you. <laughs> uh, maybe it never. Mm, maybe it never stopped. Bro, oh, what? Oh, it's your favorite, your favorite. What? He's all in your mind. Oh, for <clears throat> now, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day thinking about it. <laughs> Cassandra, let's have a little conversation with you. 
Ja. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little. Oh, I'm a bit of a scrap here. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Intervene. Hey, enough. You're taking his side? I said enough. Ooh. Ooh, tempers flaring. We needed someone to lead this inquisition. Mm hmm. Hawk was our only hope. He was the champion of Kirkwall. The mages respected him. And you kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy. Varric, you bastard. <laughs> Varric's not at fault. Cassandra, back off. What's done is done. Um, whose side do we take here? Um... What's done is done. Varric, you bastard. <laughs> What's done is done. You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must <laughs> Varric, you bastard. That the maker well, if he was at the Conclave that he and he'd have died, he wouldn't he have been here today to help me now. Varric is a liar. In oh, the leave him. Lake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most... Varric. Leave him alone. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never Oh no, that's unfair. Uh unfair or he's earned his place. He's He's earned his place. Varric's earned his right to be here, Cassandra. Thank you. I like Varric better. I must not think of what could have been. We have so just much. think he's here now to help us. Go, Varric. Just go. Oh. You've earned your place, Varric. Don't worry about it, man. I've got you back. You know what I think? If Hawk had Yes, been exactly. Dead, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. If he'd have been at the conclave, he might have been killed I just along with the rest of them. He spun his story for me, and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him Sandra understand... chill. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. I still like you. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. You're too hard on yourself, Cassandra. Not hard enough, I think. You can't believe that. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk, the Maker wouldn't have needed... It's okay, we've got both. But he did. You're not what I pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less... Don't be mean to yourself. If I swear to God, you leave me up here. And don't put me in the court. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Fucking you dare leave me up there again. Should we talk to Cullen? The order... Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Runs it like a well-oiled machine. Come. Now. Good leader. We set up as best we could at Haven. Could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have. It was a bad situation. We were all shaken by what happened. If Corythius strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many did we lose at Haven? How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Hope I'm a good a leader. Everyone has so much faith in my leadership. I hope I'm ready. You won't have to carry the Inquisition alone, although it must feel like. We needed a leader. You have proven yourself. I trust your advice. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you. Kind of want Cullen as like a follower. I can to ensure the security of our like not as one of these 
diplomatic people. I want him, I want him as a follower. Oh, I think we might have found Cole. Oh, there he is. Hi. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It we don't even know if he's human be. yet or not. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? <laughs> Fucking Vivian's look then. I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. I'll leave then. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. He helped us. Cole helped me escape the Envy Demon. I already agreed to let him stay. That was before we knew what it was. Honoring deals with demons is a swift path to an early grave. In fact, his name seems nice. Defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But Cole looks like a young man. Could it be possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. Explain more. What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. But Cole I'm gonna cross over into this world and I'm gonna possess... Anyone. ...a toilet. <laughs> the demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I'll talk with him. I should hear what Cole has to say for Like, I'm, I'm too tall, so it cuts my face off. Where is he now? He was right... Cole, what are you doing? Them titties. <laughs> Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. Can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white, pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. Are you alright? You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close. With so many of them. We put my face in the fucking screen, please. Comfortable. Yes. But here is where I can help. Every breath slower. Like lying in a warm bath. Sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Rip. Rest in pepperoni. Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. What are you, Carl? You're using your powers as a spirit to help people. Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. No, stay and help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt. The help. Vivian, you can disprove all you want. So he wants to fucking help. Okay, so quit your fucking bitching. Hurts. It hurts. 
hurts, someone make it stop hurting. Hey, whoa. Like, uh, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Um. Give him a chance. You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. His body is failing. He could recover, or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't. It's hope. I don't, and neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay, stay then, but no killing people. All right, cool. Okay, so we talked to a lot of people. We got Skyhold. Everything looks pretty cool. It's a bit broken, but I think with time we'll get there and we'll start to repair everything. And with that, um, we are out of time because I've been talking to everyone. Uh, a lot of this episode was just kind of setting things up, getting used to them, like everything that's gone out gone on and happened weren't really many missions it's just kind of set setting everything up in skyhold so next episode we'll get on with doing some stuff we'll do this war room we'll do we'll do everything okay so anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the episode if you liked it leave a like if you want to see more subscribe i've been dr blue you've been my audience i'll see you guys next time I am the pain repaid I am